this is a real quick one. This is to Obi. And some things that I expect out of people and in this space, you get disappointed a lot. And uh, as a Gnostic, as, as a so-called pro-black, as a nationalist, as a pan-Africanist, I am disappointed in him. You're 30 years old. You learn what you learned out of the book. You don't understand the problem. You don't understand the people that are in this space, in this manuscript space and why it's necessary. And you quote situations like Emmett Till, but you don't understand Emmett Till. You don't understand the plight. You get, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and cuss. You get your shit out of a book. You get your limited experience out of going to college. Emmett Till is a figure to you because of white people and white women. Emmett Till is my life. I'm not Emmett Till. My uncle, my grandmother had to take a beating to protect my uncle who had to escape at 17. So in time enough for actually to get into the military and get away from them races that would have killed him. He could have been Emmett Till. I came to Los Angeles because the Dallas police in 1964, 63, ran me and my father and my family out of Dallas. Forced great migration. I remember when the, the Dallas cop threatened my father. So he needed to find another city to live in. You get it out of a book. This is my life. I remember ducking down in the weeds in the grass with my aunt in Shreveport, Louisiana as a pickup truck shining the spotlight with a guy with a shotgun in the bed of the truck was looking for us. And I'm three. I'm three years old. I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember going to white schools and every, every at least two or three times a year we come to school and nigger would be scrawled all over the walls because we had bus kids like me in the 1960s. School integration on the backs of kids like me. You talk racism. You talk at people like us because you read it out of a book. People like me have lived this. This is our life. How dare you even begin to criticize the scope of a problem that you don't understand and then throw it at us like we don't understand it. It's like me going to Nigeria and telling you and your family what's wrong with y'all. I don't think they would take it very well. Do you? Now, let's get to the pro-black stuff because I do this stuff. You think that you're superior to the management because you talk to women and we talk at women. Son, my daughters are older than you. When I started with my mentor, who's been counseling females, black women, longer than you've been alive, this woman could be your grandmother. This woman is one of the, one of the biggest players in the pro-black sector. It's where I learned it from, part of where I learned it from. My second uncter, my second lesson, one of the bigger lessons of how I learned about black females and their relationships. Yeah, you know, I was hit on by, by, by a married woman in the church when I was 13. That's my introduction to adult relationships. The job I had for a very long time, I sat with and sat in a circle of a lot of older black women, older than me, older than my mother, my grandmother's age, my mother's age, the women that were next to me, and women are younger than me, sat in their circles about and heard what they talked about as far as their relationships with their kids, with their husbands, with their boyfriends, with, with their old flames, how they tell you the stories, the games that they ran, what they thought when they got pregnant, all this kind of stuff. And I could tell you, you haven't talked to a fraction of the women that I've talked to. Not a fraction. And the stuff I went through with them, listening to them, being with them, dating them, dating their daughters or their granddaughters, how they raise their kids over time. Got a big lesson. And my personal experience is why I went Gnostic. I had to find tools to actually take all the lessons that I learned from these women and make sense of it. And my mentor I've known over 30 years with what she's done, the books that she's written and the, the Gnostic training that I've had from my teachers in the pro-black sector, 
is the reason I can talk, not only talk to women, but counsel women and understand women. And that's to give them insight to understanding themselves. Now, I've heard you over the past year, year and a half, because you're interesting, because, you know, at some point you see yourself in younger men because you realize I was once where he was. I was once with a baby daughter at 30 trying to manage the women in my life and my daughter along with the other women that were around me and try to understand what their uncter was you know what their purpose was and how, not how, how they saw themselves the thing is what was inside and why they did what they did which is why i got into gnosticism to understand the chicks the three chicks i had at the time why they seem to replicate and do the same shit over and over again and why the stuff keeps the same patterns keep repeating and i did that and then i uh, applied that to the black women in particular that's how come you have to go back in the books and read frazier and read monaghan report and read all this stuff why do black women in particular do what they do which none of that i hear from you you're trying to get feedback from people that don't understand themselves you're trying to get their insight when they don't have any. Stop talking to little girls, 20 year old, 25, 30 year olds, people like you. Talk to their mothers, talk to their grandmothers, see where they learned it from. See how far it's been passed down. My grandmother, who is sat at the knee of, she was born in 1910. Got to rest her soul. My angel in heaven. The stories that she told me about her husband's and the stuff that she went through and the stuff that my mother, I saw my mother go through and my aunts go through and the stuff that I went through, all that stuff matches up. Now, how in all these guys that you see in the manuscript have gone through the similar experiences with their women, they're all here trying to make sense of it. And sometimes it comes out as anger. Sometimes it comes out as black women are worse than white women because they've seen it not only from the women they've been involved with, but from their mother, their sisters, their aunts, their grandmother, sometimes their great-grandmother. Because I, yes, I did know my great-grandmother before she died. Knew her and the stories that my mother and my grandmother told about her and the stuff that they went through. And stuff, all this stuff is consistent. All this stuff is a thread that goes all the way back to slavery, which is an experience that I don't know what your pedigree is and what your lineage is but my lineage goes all the way back from the louisiana cane fields and louisiana cotton fields my mother was a sharecropper was your mother a sharecropper did your mother live through jim crow did you live through jim crow was your grandmother beaten by white folks did your grandmother work for white folks did your uncle get chased out of the state that's my life it's my family's life it's something that unless you have lived through it or your family lived through it you cannot understand so you can't understand the men that you're talking to instead of judging from a little boy's seat you need to get in with the men and talk to them they have open panels instead of talking to the women and judging the men why don't you talk to the men and then go back and talk to the women because from your li limited vantage point you don't get it because you're talking to the women the type of women that i raised that i helped raised you are like my son that I raised. That's has to understand the women that he's involved with. My son's never been 40. So not, not only have I been brought up by women, taught by women, counseled by women, but I've raised women. Have you? So before you get on your high horse and beat your chest like you're so superior, come a little humility. Talk to the guys that you're trying to denigrate. Find out where they're coming from. Find out why they think the way they think and why they're angry. And then once you do that, then you can start to see and understand the women that are in front of you. Anyhow, that's all I got for this one. BGS out and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.